What's going on, everybody? So we're going to go fishing for catfish on Little Gall Lake. And uh, as you can tell, it's beautiful fall weather. It's in almost, well, almost Halloween. So uh, let's go see if we can't catch some blue cats. Try some skipjack. Haven't had real good luck on it, but uh, I got them. So we're gonna put some of these skipjacks on some jugs. So these are uh, jugs by Burt. It's a pretty cool little system. They got uh, they come with this weight. This weight right here, and uh, a couple hooks. So you lower it down. They don't float. I mean, they don't. They don't move around on you. They uh, they're stationary, so you can you can put them right where you where you want them, and they don't drift. You don't have to chase them, and you you hook them through this little deal. And when you get a bite, they go from uh, this color to that color. They flip over. Well, you know you got one on there. Eh, we're just doing it for fun. We got five jugs, and see how that goes. Still kind of frozen. This lake doesn't have skipjack in it, so you know we're gonna go some big size. I'm gonna mess around. I'm gonna put some big chunks on these, and I'm only gonna put skipjack. I don't know, two of them maybe. So that's one jug and a half. Cut that tail off. Yeah, these things are really mushy, except the fact they're frozen. Okay, now we're going to go find a little spot to, to put them, probably off the channel edge. You just set them down. There goes the second one. You lower them down. We're in, see it's on the bottom right now. Perfect. So you wind them up. And then you bring the line like this and you clip it. It's got a little notch in there. Clip it like that. See, it's, it's on the bottom. I'll set it just like that. And when a fish bites it, it'll turn over red. Now we're gonna go to our next one. Next little spot to put a jug out. I like putting them in a line, and I just run the line. I don't leave them out overnight. I don't want to cause any issues with boaters and stuff with a whole bunch of jugs out here. Two more. How old are those jugs? Older than you. Really? Some of them's 20 years old. Your mom was doodling art craft on them. Hmm. She 
stick our little drawings on them. So I'm gonna try something a little different today. I got a five ounce sinker on here and a float, a little rattler. So the reason is, is these are gonna be the poles I throw out sideways against the wind with the wave blowing, but the lighter sinker, it tends just to kind of like wash around the back of the boat. You know, I know it's drifting and covering ground, but I want to set these out and this will hold them and just keep this boat, this uh, bait flopping around, this bead making noise with the wave actions. So this is a shad a buddy of mine brought me from Kansas compared to, you know, our shad. This is some big bait. We're going to put this on a big hook and throw it out there. Yeah, buddy. That's a chunk of shad. Oh. Here, guy. All right, here. This one. Get ready on him. He was way out there. That's a bigger bait too, I forgot. That might be a bigger fish. We caught that one on that shad from Kansas. Big old chunk of it. We need a net on that? Probably it doesn't look like he's bending you that much. No. Here, bring him over to the right. There you go. Well, he's just barely hooked, huh? Yeah, that's a good one. Yep, throw him in the live well. It's about as big as we'll keep for eating. We'll turn the rest of the bigger ones loose. All right, we're getting there. Eating. Young. Little. <laughs> you got the biggest one of the day. Well, howdy. Little one's got sharp. Sharp fingernails. <laughs> Going back. Bring him in. Boy, he's got mud all over him. Gotta wind fast. <laughs> you come out of short shallow water. Thank you. 
Get them. Wine. Nope. Nope. Oh, yep. Nope. Not a bad one. He hit the one with the float on it. Yep. Throw him in there. He's swimming with it, Tristan. Wind fast and set the hook. Made a little move. Oh, get him. Or get ready to get him. Made a little move and now it's game on. We've had three or four hits in four minutes, I think. Keeper? Yep, we'll keep him today. Right in that live well behind you. Right All right, we're gonna pick up our jugs. This one here is flipped over. We'll see if sometimes you miss them, but sometimes there's something on there. You just never know. We're gonna grab it. All right. Got a fish on this one, he says. Good one? Not that good, but it's fish. Just one, yep. Just one. Lift him up, Tristan. Yep. All right, on to our next ones. Wrap that one up. These here are flipped over up here. Be something on these. Something on that one? That's not a bad fish. We didn't catch any real big ones today though, but good eaters. That's skinny. Well, it looks like we ended up with close to 10 fish, nine I think. Uh, pulling the planer boards didn't work too well. Didn't get any bites. Jug lines caught uh, two I think on the jugs and we had one of them breaking our line on the jugs. Go figure. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, see you on the water.